So I get the delightful opportunity to try and condense 35 short years of experience into 10 minutes of talking and five minutes of questions. So if we're ready to go, I think the slides are almost up. There they are. Okay, great. Um, just very short background. Um, the group that uh, I have in GE Healthcare IT serves about 45 to 50,000 physicians and their staffs to help them deliver efficient and effective healthcare as well as get them paid for doing so. So I'm gonna walk through some of the areas of opportunity and I'm delighted to talk to such a group of entrepreneurs because there's a lot to be done. Why do we have a volcano here? Um, because volcanoes are made when two tectonic plates come together and create a lot of friction and change and heat and that's what healthcare IT is going through right now. There's actually four planes coming together the healthcare payment reform is changing the business. Thank you. Okay. Healthcare ch payment reform is changing the business. That means that healthcare delivery is changing at exactly the same time, while demographics push the envelope of how much care is needed when there is less money to deliver it, at exactly the same time where there's an explosion of technological capabilities that you all represent. So that's why healthcare IT is continuing to emerge as one of the hottest markets for smart, good technology. One of the things that I've tried to live, uh, uh, a principle to live by for the last 30 plus years is it's usually a very bad idea to run fast into a dark room, right? Only bad things can happen if you do that. So I think it's really uh, important for anybody in the entrepreneurial space to take a look at what's going on in the room already. What are the health plans doing? What are the doctors doing? What are hospitals doing? What are drug manufacturers doing? Device manufacturing, so on and so forth. There is a lot of innovation going on. The question really is what matters and what matters now and how can we do something that makes a difference and gets adopted and creates lasting and sustainable value? Because without that, it's just a lot of activity. With those things, we can actually work together to make a difference. Let's go. Okay, so what else have we followed the path doing for a lot of years? Well, the first thing is follow the money. Know where the economic flow is and where it's going and what changes the waters. For those of you who haven't gone through and tried to understand, and I'm speaking specifically in the US, but it applies to other countries, the Affordable Care Act is a fundamental earthquake in the, in the uh, businesses of health plans. It changes their game dramatically. And when their game changes, everything else changes. So that's why we think it's terribly important to put some context in what's going on in the payment landscape of the U.S. such that when we make new innovations, they actually help make a difference in that direction. And the last and the next one is find the pain. When the change happens, there's a tremendous amount of pain. People get dislodged. Businesses get dislodged. Things change. And with that change, um, something must happen to make it better. So my team is working very closely with both providers, doctors, hospitals, and so forth, and health plans at the same time to strike that balance of change on both sides. That's where we're focused to add value. I would argue that it would be good for any innovative group to be able to focus in similar areas uh, irrespective of your background, if it's pharma, biopharma, medical devices, these changes are affecting all aspects of healthcare delivery. Focused and agile, big deal, okay? So once you follow the money and you find the pain and you pick your area of focus, um, my experience, our experience is our team tells us it's gonna change again. So don't be married to an idea, don't be married to a technology. Keep your focus on the pain that you're gonna resolve 
but at the same time, no things are going to change. And when they change, react. In GE, the famous word is pivot. People are always pivoting in GE. And I'm like, why are you doing that? And the real answer is to stay true to the goal. So I argue strenuously that we spend, spend a lot of time thinking through and knowing that things are going to change. And that's OK if you're ready to change with it. I mean, how many here have seen the same technologies for the fat past five years? Tons of change, right? So how do you capture, how do you get that, how do you spread it, and how do you use it to make a difference? And that leads me to uh, a fundamentally a, a point that uh, I really want to stress. I was uh, blessed to be invited here by my colleagues at GE Ventures. I'm not actually a venture company. We're responsible as an operating company for delivering value to our constituents. So in starting to work with GE Ventures, I really started to understand that they are looking for attractive young companies to help us on our mission to help health uh, care providers and others in the industry do better in their businesses. So then the next question would be, so what's attractive? Okay. So what is attractive? Well, first of all, you have to have an attractive idea, something that is going to solve a problem that many want to solve and are ready to solve it now or are ready to solve it soon. Very, very, very important. The next thing is, how do you attract financing? Y'all are much better at that than I am. I just have to wrestle with customers to attract their financing and GE investments internally to attract theirs. But I'm sure you all know how to do that, right? Uh, as well or better than anybody in the world. The next piece about being attractive is being attractive to customers. Who actually has the problem that you're going to help them solve? And, who, and how many of them are there? Are there a lot of them? Is it a sustainable problem that you're going to fix? So we think it's really important to try to figure out, at least my group does, we really try to figure out something that many, many, many people have this same problem so we can fix that and we can actually create value in the industry that we serve. And then last but certainly not least, um, from uh, working with our friends in GE Ventures, we need to look for companies that are attractive to a company like GE that can work with others. That's a really important part of what we're doing. Um, I believe we're in the beginning stages of, of building a pretty exciting ecosystem and network of people who work together. So the Thai and the Thai Khan here, you folks, um, are really great at building a community. I'm absolutely impressed by the number of folks here and all that's going on. I'm really looking forward to figuring out how to work with my friends in GE Ventures to be able to build a network of innovators to really help make a difference in, in healthcare delivery. And again, not just in the United States, but worldwide. You'll see us expand over the next few months and years into more and more countries as we figure out new ways to help doctors and people get and receive health care in the smartest, most effective, most efficient way. I want to close in, and then open up for questions, and I can talk about how that happens in a sec. But really, when you step back and you look at it, the really key advice is healthcare IT is where a lot of value is going to be created. As we discussed at lunch, there isn't biopharma anymore without data and without getting into the flow. There isn't medical devices anymore without data and getting into the flow. So we really think that when we, un we can share with you our views of the landscape so you don't have to run, we can actually show you where we think the opportunities are. That's important. So as you follow the money and find the pain we that we can actually solve and then get that focus. Stay focused but be ready to change because their value is out there and we can help you uh, be attractive. And we hopefully will find good ways to work together as we go forward. So I am very honored to have been asked to come here today and sort of open up this innovative panel and discussion for the rest of the afternoon.